All right, looks like some people are here. Hey, everybody. All right, looks like some people are here. Oh. Hey, everybody. All right, I gotta test the mics. Is everybody, uh, can everybody hear me? Just give me a, th don't give me a thumbs up. I can't hear your thumbs up. Just say, Hey, if you can hear me. Testing, testing. I'm not going to start until I know that you can hear me. What is going on? Oh, okay, you can hear me. Okay, good. I was afraid that my microphone was uh, the wrong input. Are you good? So, yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. Um, I am going to start in a minute here. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. I'm back for good now. So, hey everybody. So, I got a fancy new setup, you can see. Um, and this is the first official stream, live stream. Um, a lot of you probably already know me already, so you probably found me over on Instagram. Uh, I'm going to be doing one of my morning scribbles. Uh, I do five drawings a week, uh, sometimes six. Um, and uh, I typically do them in the morning, but uh, I'm going to do some in the evening so that I can do the live stream and you guys can see it. So, uh, hopefully there's more people in the chat and more people can hear me. So, uh, Kesho, good to see you, as always. Um, if you have any questions, throw them out there. If something is weird with the audio or the video, let me know because this is a new setup and uh, I'm just now figuring it out. So I'm going to start drawing and hopefully more people will join in and uh, we can get the conversation started. All right, here we go. I'm going to shut this guy off. Thank you, D'Artagnan. 
I'm going to shut off the the um, little overlays there. So hopefully that goes off. All right. All right, we got plenty of room to work with here. All right, here we go. All right, so since it's summertime, um, I'm going to focus on some summer drawings. Typically, I like to uh, I like to do seasonal drawings. Summer is always sort of a weird one, though, because um, I've run out of things. So yes, I fixed the bouncing table. Look, but so this camera bounces, but this camera doesn't bounce because it's mounted to a shelf on the wall. So uh, yeah, I got a new camera set up. So um, and I think I have them all figured out. So uh, yeah, I think it's I think this is a better setup. We'll see we'll see if it uh, if it works out. So okay, so um, let me just start. So this is the part where you guys are gonna see me erase a lot. Because sometimes I, I screw up and don't put it right in the middle of the of the um, of the paper, and sometimes I just start over completely. So, but I am going to draw a little dude that just went to the carnival. And I'm looking over over there because I already did a tiny little sketch of what I wanted to do. So I had some reference so I didn't just like, you know, jump into this blind. So we'll see. Like I said, sometimes I, I don't put things on the paper right the first time. So this is going to be a mess for a little while. This is the part that you guys normally don't see because normally I'll start off with a thank you Jonathan Smythe um, normally I start off with the rough already done so you guys don't see that um, but I thought I would do the whole process um, so you guys could see basically how I do these drawings from start to finish Like I said, I'm totally not in the middle of the page, but I can fix it. This is the real ugly stage, if you haven't picked up on that yet. They gotta start somewhere, but this is the uh, this is definitely the, the not great looking part of, of the drawing process. Cotton candy? No, no, good, good guess though. Keep guessing, you'll see. You went to the carnival, so uh, it's something carnival related. Let's see. You've made my day through Twitter posts on numerous occasions, Chris. Great to see you on Twitch. Thank you so much, Retsy. Um, I really appreciate that. Yeah, I thought I would try, um, you know, the moving image. Uh, yes, a stuffed animal prize. Uh, yeah, I'd done a few, like, Periscope live streams, and I did a few Instagram live streams, and, and I thought I would do something a little more permanent. So um, I like this format because I can kind of customize everything, and, uh, and I can put fancy, uh, you know, I can put fancy animations and stuff in there. Um, but yeah, it's super fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, how this whole thing works out. So I I like to talk and I like to draw. So you know why not shove a camera in front of my face and see what happens? <laughs> see how much I can embarrass myself in front of you guys. Also, I get so many questions. So many people email me questions all the time, and I'm kind of hoping that. I can just like 
make part of this into a Q&A because I don't have time to answer all those questions via email. So if I'm like, if you have me as a captive audience here, um, I'm hoping that this will just become the repository for, for questions. Um, Cause I like answering people's questions. I just I run out of time. And it's often the same question over and over again. Let's see. Wait, why can't I say can I has? <laughs> because everybody says, uh, because everybody says can I has. Let's see. Nope, you still get a million emails, the price of fame. Ah, oh, thanks, Derek. Uh, I'll still get them, but it doesn't mean I'm going to answer them. <laughs> it's nice to see you again, Derek, by the way. Crazy May 35 is now following. Thanks, Crazy May. If I miss somebody pop up uh, as a follow, I'm sorry. Yeah, I put the the can I uh, can I has thing sort of as a joke in the rules because uh, I, I get people asking me that all the time. Um, it's no big deal. It's it's sort of a joke. No, you're not stupid. So I'm just doing the rough here. Let's see, fluffy unicorn. It's not really fluffy. It's plump, but it's not fluffy. Well, that's a crazy looking uni unicorn, let's see. Plumpy unicorn, yeah. I never get tired of drawing unicorns. It's kind of funny. I used to, uh... oh, hold on one second. When you did the live Instagram, you mentioned you were going to have some items up for sale in Thindlewood soon. Yes, actually, uh, the email will go out tomorrow um, announcing the sale. So, uh, yes. We are very, very close. It will be this coming Saturday. So that is the answer to that question. Um, yeah, sometimes we just fall behind um, with taking photos and getting everything ready for the shop. So did that today. Elsa, hello from Tokyo. I'm going to be in Tokyo uh, in December. So I've been to Tokyo a few times. So, and one of our fellow... Uh, one of our fellow chatters here is going to be in Tokyo as well. Say hello, Derek. I'll be at Tokyo Comic Con. So I love Tokyo. Uh, anyway, I was saying, uh, oh, you met you met me in Shibuya. Okay, f fantastic. Well, I'll be back again. <laughs> yeah, there's Derek. Um, oh, as I was saying, I used to work for a, gre a greeting card company, and they never had to twist my arm to make me draw uh, a unicorn. So I'm fine with drawing unicorns. All right, we're getting there with the uh, the underdrawing here. He said, I draw this stuff in super rough, and it's not all going to be drawn exactly how I put it down in the rough. Um, 
it just kind of gives me an idea where to go, but I'll kind of, I don't know, freestyle off of the, the marks that I make when I go to do the final drawing. Let's see. Have I ever done Oz Comic Con? No, I have not. Uh, the only Comic Cons I've ever done, I did, um, what did I do? I've done Asia Pop Comic Con in the Philippines. I've done San Diego Comic Con. Um, I've done New York Comic Con, Designer Con, uh, but I've not done that one. And we just had a meeting I keep saying we, I always have to remind everybody that I talk about myself and Amanda a lot. Um, we just had a meeting because we're going to be at San Diego Comic Con again this year. So, let's see. Uh, waiting to see if Amanda gets hit by the mod bot this time. Uh, she might if she gets on. She likes to test the limits. Uh, let's see. Will the Twitch videos be saved so they can be watched later? Yes, they will. I, uh... So I screwed up on the first one, um, and I uh, forgot to archive it. So this time it will archive if I did it correctly, and then it saves them for like two weeks, and then I have to move them over to uh, I have to move them over to YouTube. But you will be able to see them, Ethan. So, oh, Derek and Ethan, best pals. You guys are trouble. Ethan, you should be getting your package soon. Oh, yeah, the um, Monsters and Misfits show in Tokyo, a lot of stuff sells really quickly. Um, so I'm not sure how it's going to work at, at uh, Tokyo Comic Con, but it'll probably be uh, very similar. Let's see. Oh, you got one today. Perfect. Yeah, there should be two boxes. There's a big one and a small one. Somebody's trying to sneak through. You guys are going to see a, a wild Amanda appear back there. There she goes. <laughs> Say hi, Amanda. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> a wild Amanda appeared. Oh, look. Yeah, she's going to help. Thank you. Thank you. Helping. <laughs> <laughs> I can draw. <laughs> oh, here you guys are going to hear a little behind the scenes. Uh, Steve was just trying to call me. You might want to try to call him. Oh, I'll find out what he wants. Yeah. He just left a voicemail. Steve so, is our fulfillment manager. Steve is our fulfillment manager. So uh, he, he's trying to do business, and he knows that I'm streaming. He's probably calling me to tell me I'm doing it wrong. Retsy says, hi, Amanda. Hi! <laughs> Elsa is now following. Thank you, Elsa. I made this snap too big. I'll fix that. Amanda will probably hijack my, my stream every single time. It'll happen. But when I start, you'll probably hijack mine, too. That's right. I'll just be like, blah, 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 in the background the whole time. If anybody caught my stream where my my son, Ben, was moderating, uh, he'll probably be back at some point. Uh, he has a tendency to take over. So, oh, bye, May. Uh, let's see. Any closer to finding out about those vector turnarounds? Uh, is it something joint with Amanda? Can you tell us anything? Um, can I tell you anything? It's a toy being made with another company. Uh, is it joint with Amanda? Um, no. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, I'm writing it down. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's not joint with Amanda, but she did one also. So that's all I can say. 
I think it's coming out next year. Um, but when they announce it, it's going to be bonkers. You guys are going to be, it's crazy. We were surprised. So it'll be really cool. Can I say it's not just us? Yeah. It's not just us yeah, either. It's, it's other people as well. So let's see. <laughs> Finally, I can write. Hello, oh, LOL. Hi. Hi, comic Candace. Uh, and let's see, gotta, gotta bring Ben out for special occasions. Yes, Ben is, a, Ben is only for special occasions. He's a... <laughs> he shines up, okay. I, I love that kid, but he's a weirdo. We don't know where that came from. Yeah, I, he didn't get it from me, that's for sure. I'm, I am a shining be beacon of normalcy. Yeah. See, whatever the noise that was, Amanda should voice act it for your scribble doodles. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so life here 24 hours a day is nothing but stupid noises from both of us. Yeah, it's just, we just make sound effects all day long. So, uh, oh yes, Ben the house elf. Yeah, but see, he's free now. So, I don't know, um, I don't know, he, he can make up his own life now. Now that he's been freed. Did you guys give him a sock? We gave him a sock, we gifted him a sock. Yeah, Amanda, you, we can totally make some some alert sounds for you. Yeah. So. I have symbols and a reporter and yeah. a slide whistle. Yeah, and we need a, uh, we need like a, a kazoo. And a broken toy piano. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did he win that at the state fair? He did. So, fun fact, Amanda and I, uh, we live in Ohio. And uh, this area is, you know, it's typical Midwest. It's during the summer is just a glut of county fairs. And some are rural and some are a little more, uh, uh, a little more civilized, but we try to go to as many as possible. So last year, I think we went to five, four or five different uh, uh, county fairs, and they all have their own, they all have their own specialties, but uh, yeah, fair season is ramping up right now, so we're, we're getting yeah. ready to... funnel to, cakes in the sheep barn. And yeah, corn dogs, and, and I get to go say hello to goats. Tractor pulls. Yeah, tractor pulls. And tattoos. Pig racing, and what else is, is there? Uh... Oh, we get to go see, like, which corn won. Yep, prize crops. Um, what's the biggest pumpkin that was grown in that county? So, yeah, we're, uh, we're exciting city folk, as you could tell. Oh, Candace, are you also from Ohio? I'm, I may know you, but I don't know because I, I'm bad at screen names. So... Please don't take offense if I know you and I don't know you by your screen name. I also have the worst memory ever. I'm having a really tough time with this tail. There was a sports ball game tonight, by the way. Oh, there was. In case you were... Is it over or is it still going I'm still on? I'm trying to figure that out. So, yeah, our... our uh, our local sports ball club is having some sort of um, competition tonight to win a trophy cup or something. Uh, so, oh, you're in Parma. Awesome. Yeah, so we're held up inside right now, hoping to not listen to everyone screaming around oh, us. I just started. So apparently this is a, an important one. Let's see. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, it's still going on. Yeah. Sports ball in Oakland. Still going. Yeah. For the tail, you need to channel your inner rainbow. Chris has a lot of inner rainbows. Yeah. I think I need to channel my external rainbow. Okay, I'm getting close here. Okay, so we got a big heart on the butt. Maybe a star in the eye, or should it be a, another? Yeah, let's go with a star on the eyeball. Because I'm an adult. 
Okay, I'm going to be in chat land. Okay. Oh, are you joining the chat? Yeah, see if I get modded again. Test the limits. Go crazy. All right, I'm getting close to starting to put down some darker lines here. What game did he win to get this? Oh my gosh, there's so many games. Maybe he did the ladder climbing game. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, that's really hard. I like that you're chatting I'm and sorry. talking live. That's really funny. <laughs> Um, it's maybe he oh, right pop the balloon. Okay, so which type of pop of the balloon though? Because there's like a there's the um, squirt the water into the uh, the clown's mouth, and then there's the you know with a with a dart, and what else? What else is there? Uh, there's the knock the cans over with the with the bean bag. Oh, I like them where you have to like throw a, a ping pong ball into a, a cup with a goldfish in it. But then you win a goldfish, so. Hello, Dapper Kitty. Nice to see ya. Darts. Frog jump. Yeah, frog jump's always good. The one where you like hit the thing and it goes flying. Ring toss, that's a good one. I like the ones where you throw baseballs at records. And you have to like break the record. I've also seen the ones where you have to like use a, a a pellet gun to shoot a star out of a, a piece of paper. Let's see, I want a massive stuffed teal and hot pink frog on the rubber frog game. What's well, awesome? I always love seeing people that won at the carnival because they're equally stoked that they won and and inconvenience that they have to carry that thing around <laughs> the rest of the day. Super hot. I don't know. I'm a creature of convenience, so I wouldn't even. I would be afraid that I would win. Although we had an office uh, holiday party once and we went to Dave and Buster's, which is like a, you know, an adult arcade and we won all these tickets and we, I think 30 people all, all put all their tickets together and we got the biggest thing that we could get and they, and I had to drive around with it in my driver's, uh, or with my uh, passenger seat and it took up the whole seat. <laughs> it was like a giant gorilla. See, so it's probably been asked a ton, but... Uh, what is your go-to when you draw or even what's your favorite thing to draw? I don't think I have a go-to. I draw a lot of different things. I probably have like maybe five or ten different um, character styles that I use um, and I just kind of rotate in between them. My favorite thing to draw is kaiju monsters. So um, that's my favorite thing to draw. But I don't know. I don't know if it's my go-to. I try to like. I try to um, challenge myself every day. I try to draw things that are difficult for me to draw, because um, I often learn more from doing that. And also, uh, I don't know. It keeps my it keeps my portfolio more exciting. So I traded in so many small toys for that dumb thing. Probably cost me seventy-five dollars by the time I won. Oh yeah, they totally, they totally scam you. But hey, let's see. Food. Oh, you didn't trigger the mod for caps lock. Good <laughs> job, Amanda. I think maybe like try. Oh, I also turned the uh, the mod security down a little bit just for Amanda because she's she uh, triggered it last time. Yeah, we gotta watch Amanda. She's uh she's gonna trigger the, the, the security. Yes, yeah, such a rebel. Yeah. With all your caps. Yeah, all my exclamation points and caps lock. Right. <laughs> watch out. Moderator's worst nightmare. Do I have a favorite color combo? Uh I have a few. My my absolute favorite though is orange, teal, and uh, like off white or um, glow in the dark. So that's the those are the colors that I collect. So I have a whole display in my kitchen that's all those colors. Why do your monsters come in costumes? That's a good question. Um, a lot of time, uh, those are it. Well, it actually started off as when I run out of ideas, I just grab one of my monsters that often looks like this guy. 
And I just think of a costume, just a whatever costume that would be funny for them to wear. Um, and I just, like yesterday was a hot dog. Actually, today was a hot dog. Um, and I just thought it was funny. But a lot of times it's because I, don't, I can't think of a concept, so I just grab a thing and put them in a costume. Let's see. Thoughts on purple. Ethan, are you trying to get me in trouble here? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm loosening up on purple a little bit. Oh, you want to see something purple, Ethan? This is so super dark, so you, you're going to have a hard time seeing it. Yeah, you can't even see it here. Let me put it up here. Maybe you'll see it here. Oh, the, uh, yeah, you can't see it. It's so dark. Um, this is a translucent, like, bowling ball purple. It's really dark. Yeah. Um, oh, Amanda's going to put some more light on it so you can see it better. But it's Does like, help? yeah, it helps. It's super dark, but there's my thoughts on purple. I made it purple. Those are coming out on Saturday in the store. So let's see. Which were yours and Amanda's personal favorites out of Thimblestump characters? Oh, no. Uh, Amanda, I think you should go for... Okay, wait. I'm going to say my favorite Amanda characters. Okay. My favorite characters of Amanda's in this order are... Atticus. Order? Atticus and Buckley. Those are my two favorites. Um, and then my two favorites of mine are... Oh, I have to look at them. Hold on a second. Uh, let's see. My two favorites are... Um, oh, jeez. What are my two favorites? Tuffle Pug. And... Oh, jeez. I don't know. Get back over there. Tuffle, Tuffle Pug and the Husky Shuffler. Well, those are my two favorites. Those are my two favorites, too, in that order. Yeah. My, there you go. my specific Chris favorite is the buttermint, the chase color tuffle pug. Here, you want to grab that one? I'll put it on yeah. the camera. So this is this. Look how glorious he is. Yeah, this is a. This is my favorite one too. Such a good tuffle color. Tuffle pug, and there's his bottom. My two favorite of mine are, uh, I don't know, Atticus and Clover because I like wings. Clover's pretty good. I think I like all of Amanda's more than I like all of mine, but that's just the way I work. So, oh, nice. Kesho has that one. Let's see. Comic Candace. I have three more thimble stump guys that should be here Wednesday. Awesome. Do you remember the first thing you drew? Uh, how did you get started? Any tips on how to start? Uh, I'm going to start at the end. Uh, how to start? Just grab some paper and start drawing. Honestly, like, uh, I'll get back to that in a second. Do I remember the first thing I drew? No. My mom has drawings of mine um, from when I was, before I can remember. So uh, I don't remember the first thing I drew. Uh, and how to start, I mean, honestly, the only way to start is to grab a piece of paper and start drawing. Honestly. I mean, like, uh Oh, bye, Dapper Kitty. Thanks for coming in and joining the chat. Um, so Amanda and I were having this conversation earlier because somebody asked me, I get this I get this question all the time. Where do you get your inspiration and what happens when you're not inspired? Um, I just keep working. Uh, if I waited for inspiration to hit, um, I would almost never work. Um, and, and, and I think my answer was that I'm, I'm an inspired person, but I'm not often like inspired to, to work. A lot of times I'm inspired by, um, by processes that I see. Like I'll see somebody working in some, some sort of medium that I, I think is really interesting. And I, like, I want to try that medium, but, you know, my style is already sort of set and I have a lot of things that I want to make, but um, I don't know if I'm, I, I get inspiration from anywhere or um, I'm constantly inspired. I mean, I work all the time. Um, and I think that people need to learn to work through not being inspired. So um, 
Yeah, I get that question. It seems like like there's this weird thought that uh, art is all about inspiration, and it is. It's the, it's about inspiration, but I don't think that that's the I don't think that's the driving force behind all art. So okay, I've messed with this guy enough, and this main is killing me. Uh, normally, I would spend a long time making this like really luxurious and and pretty, but. It's going to be what it's going to be here. Let's see. All of the tuffle pugs. So you have you have the tropical tuffle pug and do you have the uh, unpainted tuffle pug also? I hope I didn't just mess mess you up there. The the tropical one's tough to get or was tough to get. Yeah, on the shelf behind me, there's literally every single one. Oh yeah, here, here, I'll show you. So, we released a DIY version of all Thimblestump Hollow. They're painted um, all teal, just in, or not teal, purple. Like, lav uh, not lavender, what am I talking about? Um, Yeah, they're just like a light, light purple, lilac. Um, and the reason why we made them a color was just in case people wanted to collect just solid color ones, because we know a lot of people collect solid uh, color toys. So you can get these, I think, through Cardboard Spaceship Toys right now. Um, but we have some of them. Uh, we haven't painted any of them yet. But yeah, these are the unpainted ones. I think they look really great. Okay, I'm gonna start drawing some dark lines here. How many Burble Bum colorways are there? So there's uh, there's Tropical, Buttermint, Carnival, Leprechaun, and Unpainted, so there's five. You need to see the Tropical. Okay, let me grab, let me grab the Tropical uh, Tuffle Pug. Tropical is yellow, right? Yeah. He's yellow with like a light green spray. And that's on his bottom too. So he's like a school bus with grass stains on his bottom. I Good just, old tuffle pug. I brought you some water, but I don't know where to put it. Oh, thanks. You go. Right there. Okay. Did you ever find out what Steve wanted? Uh, he never back to me. Steve's butting in on the feed. I'm gonna drink some water. <laughs> Somebody said, "Oh, Can Candace says the bums are the best things on these guys." LOL. I think you need to inject some bums into yours. That's always how I sell them at cons. That's true. Yeah, she'll just she'll be like, "And look, they have butts." So yeah, the fact that you can get them at Hot Topic now is pretty pretty crazy though. Okay, I'm gonna if I'm too close to the camera, I'm sorry. Let's see. I have all the colorways except for the unpainted versions of Atticus, Buckley, and Tuffle Pug, missing the tropical burble bum. Uh, the best part. Do you give yourself a time let, uh, limit when you're creating? I can sit and create for eight to ten hours before stopping to go to the bathroom, but sometimes it's so hard to stop and just stretch and give my eyes a break. Um, I, it depends on what I'm doing. I give myself a time limit for drawings. I, I try not to go over an hour total between doing the drawing and scanning it and uploading it and all that. Um, the, uh, the rest of the stuff I do, it just takes as long as it takes. Sometimes I will be working for, you know, an entire work day on something and then, you know, uh, and then it's also not done. Um. That noise was Amanda sneezing. Oh, I was trying to not sneeze. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, she has the funniest sneezes. So you guys will hear it sometime. It's like, it varies in cuteness, but she has the cutest sneeze sounds I've ever heard in my life. I was life. squelching that one. See, you guys just saw me mess up. Um, because normally I have my face like on top of the the drawing. Cause I have bad eyesight, and I'm like kind of working with like 
Whoa. limited vision. What are you doing over there? I don't know. Apparently my headphones aren't plugged in. Sorry about that. Um, I got some free music. I'm, oh, that's going to get me flagged on YouTube now. <laughs> Only two seconds will get you flagged. Um, yeah, I'm working with limited vision in my left hand, in my left eye, so uh, it's a little difficult for me to see what I'm doing right now. Let's see. What are the diff different mechanical pencils you're using now? Um, so this pencil, they're both the same. Um, they're both 0.5 millimeter um, Pentel twist erase pencils. This one has a 2B lead in it, which is harder, so it makes the lines lighter. And then this one is a 3B lead, which is softer, which makes the lines darker, but it also breaks a lot more. So you guys will probably see me snap off a couple of leads while I'm working. Um, let's see, do you ever find it hard to part ways with the original pieces? Not really. Um, I've, I've made so many pieces by now. I, the only thing I, I lament a little bit is when I make a large body of work, um, and I see it all together, I just want to see them together more. Um, because typically, like when I do something for a gallery show, um, they're meant to be displayed together. And when they get sold, they go off to um, different collectors um, or they all go to Ethan's house. Um, and uh, and then, you know, they don't all go together. They're not all together anymore. So if anything, you know, I'm sad to see them all get split apart. But... Um, but in terms of me releasing them into the wild, no, I'm I'm usually I'm usually okay with it. A lot of times, by the time I get finished with something, my brain is already you know working on the next five things, so I'm not really wrapped up in what I'm working on um, at the at the any given time. So many projects in the works all the time between. Um, between toy design and drawings and new products for the store and conventions and stuff. Um, it's, yeah, it, it's hard to focus on things sometimes. Just ordered the entire unpainted set from Cardboard Spaceship. Thanks so much, D'Artagnan. Yeah, the guys over at Cardboard Spaceship will be very happy about that. Um, but all the original pieces are loved by their new owners. That is very true. I, I can see that from uh, from experience. I've seen some of my pieces in people's collections, and it, it makes me very happy to see that. So um, you are very, 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 very right. But they're with they're they're missing all their brothers and sisters. Now I'm 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 stoked that anybody would want these things. So uh, I, I feel this like obligation to get them out of my possession, get them into other people's possession. So, um, do you feel it's a release of stress, like they say coloring is? Do you mean drawing? In general, is that is that what you mean, Mrs. Gator? Gator Ram? Gatorum? Oh, I'm saying that right. Stumpy hoof. Uh, I draw every day. And sometimes, because I give myself a deadline, it's sometimes more stressful. But um, it's the one time during the day where everything else is just gets shut out and my entire world is my face and my hand and this paper. So, um, yeah, in, in that way it can be very cathartic to just kind of, you know, block everything else out and just focus on, on, you know, what I'm creating in my little world here. So yes, it, yes, it can be very, very stress relieving. Not that I ever have any stress in my life. You guys, my drawings are always so happy. If you guys didn't hear that, that was Amanda laughing at me. That was a chortle. She was chortling at me, almost as if she didn't believe that last statement about me never having stress. 
I mean, not that she would know. How am I doing, guys? Am I doing okay? For the first official stream? I'm not asking Amanda. She won't, she'll lie to me. You're doing great. See? All right. So I'm going to move on to this guy. All right. All right. Oh, A plus. Thank you so much. Oh, did you hear that? That was my lead breaking. See? Told you it was going to happen. <laughs> that room looks pretty dark. Is Amanda just in the back judging you? Well, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's working on her iPad, so uh, she has light emitting from her her workspace. Um, it, it looks a lot darker than it is because the lights are all just right here. And I have the, the white balance set just to this spot. But uh, yes, she is just in the back judging me. Now, the way our studio is set up, it's a long table on this side of the room. And I have eight feet of workspace. And then she has eight feet of workspace. And, uh, and we just work right next to each other. So it's like identical on this side and on the other side. Do I do commissions? No, I do not do commissions. Um, with everything that I have on my plate, uh, it's impossible for me to fit um, commissions into my workload, unfortunately. Sorry about that. I went into my Hot Topic over here in Los Angeles, and I didn't see any thimble stump. Are they in certain Hot Topics? I think they went, from what we heard, we just had a meeting today, they went into something like 500 Hot Topics. No, something like that? Yeah, I don't know which ones, though. We don't know which ones. That's the problem. Um, and we also found out that they didn't all get a full case. So I think you can get them from their website, though. So you might want to check. Uh, Amanda sitting in the back plotting how to trip the mod bot. <laughs> I think she knows how. I think she can just try. See, look, I broke the lid again. Sometimes I also get weak lead. But let's see. All in the U.S., though. Yes, all the all the hot topics, I believe, were in the U.S. But um, look at that. Boy, I got a... Well, I'm a piece of lead here. I'm just going to pull this entire thing out. You know there, Samson. I'm just really strong. I just put some new lead in here, so maybe... There we go. I told you I was going to break tons of lead. Let's see. Online top, Hot Topic has some. Yes. Uh, you can get them on the website. Free shipping to your local store. Wait, what's the boo about? Because they're they're only the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, strongman Chris at the carnival. You, when I was younger, before I uh, I destroyed my shoulder, I did actually go to a carnival once and do the the strongman uh, thing where you hit the hit the the sledgehammer onto the the pad and it goes up and hits the belt and I actually did win. So. In my younger days. No longer. These days are behind me. Let's see. Yeah, I'm from Canada. Uh, greetings from Canada. Um, greetings from Turkey. And Turkey also. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't know when things will get up to Canada. Um, but never say never. Uh, they are constantly wanting more stuff from us. So uh, the first Thimble Stump Hollow is coming to a close, but um, there may be other toys in the works. Oh, somebody put a link up. Uh, unfortunately, I, I'm not allowing links in the chat right now. So if it doesn't show up, because um, I'm not running a, a, a mod yet, so until I get that, I'm not gonna let links in the chat. Sorry about that. If you just Google hot topic thimble stump, it'll come right up. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's see if we can just sell them out tonight. Yeah, sorry, no offense. I just, I, I don't have it set up to, to m moderate yet. So, soon. Like I said, this is, this is actually the first time I'm streaming, so hopefully I'm doing a good enough job that, uh, that people will come back and, you know, we'll get n new followers in here and stuff, so. I'm out of space for Thimble Stump. Oh no, it looks like you need a new shelf. Oh, you should see, so we are going to be at San Diego Comic-Con this year um, with Cardboard Spaceship and the entire booth will be dedicated to Thimble Stump Hollow. And we're currently building a giant display for, um, for displaying all the Thimble Stump Hollow toys. So as soon as I have good pictures of that, I'll put it up on Instagram. Let's see. Uh, I would have su suggested blocking links if you let it through anyway, and I was being lazy about asking whether I could post the link anyway. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not... I, I'm an old man, and I'm, I don't know all the ways of Twitch yet. Um, I'm learning all the lingo. I got a lot of friends that do this, so um, they're helping coach me through it. And I also have a you know a couple of kids who know what they're doing for the most part, so uh, they can help me through this. Whenever Amanda and I get thrown into new technology, we're just like, well, we're jumping in with both feet, and we're like, hey, we're the old people at the party. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, will you be attending or vending at? designer con this year yes. yes yes we will we will have our our table in the back as always um and uh yeah we we made some improvements to our our uh our vending table at five points that we will be implementing at designer con so you guys will be the uh, kind of receiving end of that so yes we will be there Let's see. Yay, back. <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny when we first got put in the back, we're like, hey, why did you put us back there? We're like, I thought people liked us. And they said, yeah, people like you, so we're using you as bait to get you to the back. <laughs> Let's see. At least you embrace new tech platforms. Um, yeah, it's... It's hard. It's hard to keep up with all of the things that are coming out. Like I literally talked to the people at Twitch. I, I I checked on the email today a year ago, and I'd been thinking about it the whole time, and I just never got around to doing it. And a lot of it was because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, but uh, yeah, if you just jump in and try stuff, you'll figure it out. So still need to get you guys to Portland. Yeah, I would love to go to Portland. Mandy's been, sorry, Amanda has been. Portland's great. To Portland, I've never Mandy, been. It's okay. Yeah, if you guys don't know, I Amanda, Amanda goes by Mandy. In her own house. I mean, it, it's not my name, but I'll answer to it. <laughs> um. Yeah, I would love. I would love to go there. Someday. There's so many places I just want to go just to visit. A lot of times we go places and it's, it has something to do with work, so not that that's bad, but I often end up missing the place itself because I'm working. Like we went to the Philippines and I swear all I saw was the inside of a hotel. No, I saw the inside of an airplane, the inside of a car, the inside of a hotel, the inside of a convention center, and that shopping was it. Malls. Oh, and shopping malls. So the inside of shopping malls. Let's see. For my art class, I did my art history project on me. Boy, that must mean I'm really old. <laughs> um, thank you. Did I hope? Hopefully, there was enough research material out there on me. Um, that's really interesting. I never thought anybody would do an art history project on me. When I was in college, I was doing art history projects on like Aubrey Beardsley and you know. Uh, NC Wyeth and stuff. You know, old dead guys. 
All right, so I'm gonna switch back to the light pencil again because I don't want to. I don't want the shadows to get too dark. Actually, I forgot to do these. Um, because this pencil is so soft, I can go really dark way too fast. So, um, so let me switch back to the other pencil. Make sure. Okay. See what's in here. So what I'm doing is that the you know the light is coming from this way, obviously. So this is where the highlights are. So all the shadows are going to be on this side of everything. So it looks like we've been steady with like 25 between 25 and 30 people in the stream. So that's not bad for a first shot. Nice, starting to look awesome. Thank you. Yeah, this is when it like comes to life. I mean, it just looks like it just looks like lines right now, but you know, when I sort of put in the shadows and stuff, it'll the forms will start to take shape. If you guys have any questions about anything but life or politics. I can try to answer them. I can answer them seriously or the way I would normally answer them, which is not seriously. What did I eat for dinner? <laughs> oh boy. Dinner. So normally I pride myself on my cooking skills um, <laughs> and I pride myself on finding whatever's in the fridge and making a somewhat decent meal out of it. But boy, tonight was not one of those, uh, one of those cases. Chris is actually a really good cook. Thank Just throwing that out. Thank you so much, Mandy. Because uh, what you're about to say we ate does not make it seem like you're a good cook. So. We ate fried eggs, a salad, and brown rice mixed with white rice, <laughs> which sounds like we're like, you know, boxcar willies jumping the rails. Might as well have eaten some beans out of a can. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Today was that was a that was a low point, but I think it was because we didn't have a lot in the fridge. So you've done better. I've done much much better. I don't know how much worse I've done, but uh, yeah, you caught me at a, a low point. Dirty rice. Yeah, that was the epitome of dirty rice. <laughs> See Amanda laughing in the background, judging on a diet. No, not on a diet at all. It was just all we had. And then Amanda said. Uh, I think it'd be great if we went for a walk and walked by the Dairy Queen and got ice cream. So, and it was like 90 degrees outside. It was really warm. So we walked probably a mile the long way to get to the Dairy Queen, which is about three blocks away. And uh, by the time we got there, we were, we were good and cooked. And then we had ice cream. So... Uh, and then walked back. And then we walked back, and we were, we were super, we super there. disgusting and gross by the time we got back. So, um, adults. Yeah. So yeah, we ate like a uh, like fourteen year olds today. So that is not normal. That yeah, that is definitely not normal. Like normally, I I, I, I put together a pretty well balanced uh, a meal, but um, no, I didn't do that. Only fifty eight degrees in Portland today. That's very, very not warm. Amanda was just up in that region. She was just up in um, in Vancouver uh, on an island, not Vancouver Island. Um, Quadra. On Quadra Island. So she was partaking of your warm, sunny weather up there. Let's see. 
Alicia still talks about your tacos. She's really stepped up her taco game after you inspired her. See, I'm glad I can inspire See? people. I, I have many people that talk talk uh, about the lore of my tacos. Um, I've, I've made it for, for multiple groups of people. So uh, I just actually made my son and his girlfriend were here one day and they they liked it so much that they actually offered to do the dishes. Now these are teenagers that offered to do the dishes afterwards. So uh, that's how good it was. Uh, but the, tell, tell Alicia, thank you. I don't know if she's just like still stoked on the tacos or if she's just using her competitive nature to beat me now. <laughs> Might have to do a live stream of taco making someday. We should. That would actually be really funny. If we use my laptop, we can totally take those cameras into the oh kitchen. Oh my god. This stream is just gonna, like, nobody cares about art no, making. No, cooking show. They're just like, what about your life? Maybe we can live stream us watching, uh, like, Netflix or something. <laughs> yeah. What Chris and Amanda are, are streaming. What are we watching right now? American Gods. Oh yeah, we're watching American we're Gods. We're a little right behind us, so no spoilers. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, house elves are supposed to do the dishes. Hey, I agree with that. Let's see. Hey, hey, cooking can be art. Yes, absolutely, I agree. Actually, uh, that was going to be my fallback career was cooking. Um, <laughs> little both. Yes, I agree. Even I asked for questions other than art. I did ask for that. Um, let's see, that show is amazing. Yes. Um, it's bonkers. Uh, people do watch movies together with their chats. That's funny. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I could do, because I'd actually want to, like, see what I was watching. Um, but yeah, American Gods is really crazy. I, I didn't read the book. Um, I listened to a little bit of the audiobook, and, and then we started watching the show, and it's just... We have no idea where it's going, so it's kind of nice to have like no basis of of knowledge of of the uh, the story at all. But it's just crazy. Let's see. This week's episode was awesome. You'll enjoy it. Yes. So awesome. Read the book. You can, look. Do you think I have time to read books? <laughs> I would love to read the book. I'll probably just listen to the audiobook. Um, but for now, I'm enjoying the show. So. I'll get through that first. Yeah, I'm an I'm an aspirational reader. I've always wanted to read, but I it takes me so long to read. I've listened to some really good audiobooks though. I'm a podcast person myself. I listen to tons of podcasts. The book was really good. Gaiman has an incredible speaking voice if he's reading the book. Oh. Yeah, that was that was the one that I was listening to. Um, yeah, he has a great, great British proper voice. Wait until the season's done, then you'll be excited for where it's going. Awesome. Favorite podcasts? Um, uh, that's good. That's a really great question. So um, my favorite podcasts are... Um, 99% Invisible, because Roman Mars is amazing. It has um, an amazing speaking voice. He's got the best speaking voice. Um, if you ever get a chance, uh, look up Roman Mars' uh, TED Talk and watch his TED Talk about flags. It's the But see it all the way to the end. You have to watch all the way to the end. Um, currently, we've both been listening to this podcast that's sort of like a narrative serialized story called Tanis, T-A-N-I-S. And that's a really crazy, interesting story that takes place in the Pacific Northwest. Um, that one's pretty cool. It's like sort of like sci-fi, mystery, historical fiction. Um, I'm trying to think of other podcasts that I listen to. I listen to um, The Dollop is my favorite podcast ever. Um, it's it's an American history podcast, um, one by two comedians. One of them does his, does research on a topic, and the other one has no idea what he's going to talk about, and then he just kind of reads about the topic, and then the other guy reacts, and they do a lot of improv around it. So uh, the dollop is is so funny, and they put out two of them a week, which is really crazy. Um, but yeah, if you guys get a chance, if you want to start on a new podcast, um, 
and you want to listen to the dollop, start with Jetpack Madness. So that's Jetpack Madness. That's the that's the best one. Um, let's see. Do I watch Orphan Black? No, I think I started to watch one episode, and I, as as I often do as an old man, uh, I fell asleep. So um, yeah, dollop, D O L O P. Thank you, Amanda. Mm-hmm. Um, a spelling question. I yeah. want it. <laughs> Grammar. Grammar police. Um, no, I'd like to go back and watch Orphan, Orphan Black. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So what are other podcasts I'm listening to? Maybe I should just look at my podcast list. You're listening to Rabbits. I'm listening to Rabbits, which is um, which is an interesting... It's the same people that do Tannis, but it's like... It's very similar to Tannis, but it's more based on like technology. Um, I listen to the, uh, um, I listen to You Made It Weird with Pete Holmes, which is up and down. It's, it's good though. Uh, that one's more of just like a, oh, I don't know. It's more of an interview based thing. Uh, I listen to Lore. Lore is pretty good. Uh, I listen to the Marsham Toy Hour, which is all about designer toys. So that one's pretty good. Invisibilia is pretty good. Radio Lab used to be a lot better. Um, if you want to listen to a really interesting human like interest story, listen to S Town all the way through. That one's like all that you can listen to all of them. So that one's really cool. Um, but it's like a really that, that's a really crazy story. So yeah, so there's some and like of course This American Life. Like I feel like you have to listen to that if you listen to podcasts. So let's see. Final season of Orson, Orphan Black just started, so you'll have an end in sight when you start it again. Awesome. You know, it's funny. I hadn't watched any of. Uh, so, like this time last year, I hadn't watched a single episode of uh, Game of Thrones. Actually, I take that back. I think I watched maybe two or three episodes. And, uh, and I just jumped into it while we were working on a show, and I watched the entire thing up until like the current episode so i watched it all straight in about i don't know maybe a month i just watched like four episodes a day but yeah it was that was a lot of watching but um but it was great like just having one episode after another and it just being very satisfying to, to like not have to wait for it let's say it's pretty well, but excellent acting all by one actress playing clones. Yeah, I know a little bit about it, but yeah, that's that's really nuts when when actors can do that. Let's see. This is a very plump unicorn. Getting more plump by the moment. Let's see. Binge watching at its best. Yeah, Amanda can't watch shows while she works, but I can watch tons of shows, so she doesn't even like listening to things when she works. It depends. If it takes too much of my brain to work, like graphic design work, I have a hard time. But if it's like sewing or something, then I can. Because it doesn't really engage my brain, it's just hand busy work. But if I have to like make a lot of decisions about color and placement of things, I can't listen to somebody in my ear. That's get, why she's always telling me to shut I up. I get confused. Someone says, how do you feel about Orange is the New Black? You watched quite a few I've, seasons of that, I'm, right? I think I've watched all but the last season. Um, I think it's really good. Um, I think it's I think it's really interesting. There's a lot of different character dynamics. Um, someone got the donut bat icon. Oh, did I totally miss it? I think somebody just donated. Hey, Smorgan's following. That's awesome. Somebody totally just donated. That's awesome. I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. I wasn't looking up. Oh, it was Derek. Thank you, Derek. That was awesome. Thank you so much, Derek. Um, yeah, uh, Orange is the New Black. Yeah, there's a lot of really interesting characters on there. Um, oh, he went invisible. How can you see me? I can see you. 
It says, I went invisible. How can you see me? I don't know. I'm just special, I guess. Uh oh, I can see you too, Derek. Oh, Amanda can see you too. Well, what happened? Something happened to my layout here. Something got screwed up. Oh, well. Still works. Oh, somebody else just donated. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, D'Artagnan. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate it, guys. This is, that's, that's really rad of you. Um, yeah, I just installed that today because, I don't know, it, it was an option and I wasn't sure if I should do it or not. But, yeah, it's, that's really awesome. I'm always, I'm always amazed when people, you know, want to do that and, you know, it, same thing on Patreon. I have so many people that, that just support me just just on Patreon. And uh, yeah, it's very humbling. Thank you. Hopefully I'm making this worth your while. So let's see, I fail at Twitch. It's okay, we're all new here, Derek. We'll learn this together. We'll fail together. I'm just gonna check your invisibility cloaking device. Oh, let's see. Okay, you should watch Wentworth if you like Orange is the New Black. It's so much darker and more complex characters. Oh boy, I like darker. I mean, to a to a degree, but yeah, I definitely I'll definitely watch it. Let's we see. get to the point where we're watching things and like we're like, oh my gosh, like we need something with a little more levity because everything we're wa watching is like dark and serious and brutal. Yeah, we uh we stopped watching Walking Dead. And we stopped watching, what was that other one? Taboo, right? I'm going to pick up Taboo again, but yeah. I think I'm done with Walking yeah, Dead. Yeah, I'm done with Walking Dead, too. I just started feeling, like, a little too uh, abusive. But let's see. Clearly, I need to look around this page. I didn't even see a donate spot. The donate spot, uh, not that I'm telling you to go there, but uh, it's all the way at the bottom. So let's see. Uh, let's see, Bob. Uh oh, <laughs> Derek! Derek got moderated. He tried oh, to use no. too many caps. Sorry, Derek. <laughs> That's the same one I got. Let's see, Bob's Burgers. Um, we watch a. I watch a little bit of Bob's Burgers. Oh, good night, D'Artagnan. Good oh, sleep. thank you so much, D'Artagnan. Hopefully, we'll see you uh, next time. Yes, go get some sleep. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry, Derek. <laughs> if it's, it makes you feel better, I got modded the exact yeah, same way last I'm, time. I'm still working on the mods, so let's see. Uh, yeah, Bob Burgers is funny. I can only watch so much of it, though. It's let's a good see. show. Do I, did I watch Preacher? I watched about maybe four or five episodes of it, and I, I think I was just, like, um, watching something else. So I think I, I'll definitely go back to it. It was really interesting. <laughs> he wrote, One Punch! <laughs> yes, um... Uh, One Punch Man. I think I'm like two episodes away from finishing. I think there's only one season. Uh, I need to. I need to finish that. That that show is hilarious. Let's see. Next up is set up your bot to be able to spam links, uh, like donations, um, Bindlewood, etc. Is Preacher following the comics? I don't know. I never. Re I never read them. So. Uh, me too, bedtime. Really enjoyed watching you draw. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for popping in. I'll do this again. Let's Good see. night. I should read the manga for One Punch Man because it's taking forever for anime. Yeah, animation takes a long time to make. Um, My problem with manga is I blow through it so fast. Yeah, I wish you could just rent manga. We need to, they like, or you need to be able to like check them out at the library. I mean, you can't sell. I remember reading the Helsing books and I was just like, seven in a week. Yeah, they, does our, our library carry those? Some, but you can order them. I would just order them through the, the library system. Yeah. Let's see. The upcoming season, season follows the comics. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I, you know, it's funny. I'm, I, I guess I, I guess we do consume a lot of things. Like we, we try to keep up with what's going on but there's so many shows out you now way more than me. yeah I, I i watch a lot more stuff than amanda does uh i just started watching what did i just start watching uh uh the leftovers the, like old turkey yeah it's about old turkey left in the fridge it's about what i had for dinner tonight 
Um, that's a really interesting show so far. Let's see. Hey, hoy hey, hoy, hoy, Jake. Welcome. Welcome to the first official live stream. We've had so many firsts here. A couple donations. Uh, Derek got moderated. Uh, we heard about the terrible dinner that I made tonight. Uh, <laughs> and the voice of Amanda is lurking in the background. Leftovers is really good. One of my favorites. Yeah, it's yeah, it's really interesting so far. Like I, I'm not into it far enough to really like. I don't know what's going on yet, so don't tell me what's going on. But um, yeah, it's 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 an interesting premise so far. And what did we? Oh, we watched Legion last last season. Oh, that was good. That was a really crazy show too. Um, and also, what's the other? Oh, The Path. That's another one that I, I find really, like, it's sort of outside of what we would normally watch. And it's a little hokey in places, but I think the, the characters are really interesting. And we don't really know what's happening. So, yeah, Legion's, you, Legion's great. Like, it's so wacky and crazy. Like, I, I don't, I'm not a comics guy. Um, and I, I, I'm learning everything about comics probably the wrong way from all the movies and tv shows but um but it, they're fun to watch so let's see the americans is good see i've i've heard i've heard good things about that now if it was called the canadians i'd probably watch it because i'm tired of americans right now <laughs> let's see i think of squeeze play while looking at the drawing squeeze play i don't know if i know what that is Yeah, he's just got it. He just went to the fair and won a giant, a giant unicorn. I know a lot of other streamers like play music in the background, but I'm afraid of like, I've seen some some um, some people get muted in their vid in their archive videos, so. I don't really know how to work around that yet, unless I'm playing like old timey music, which we have plenty of. Um, but I haven't figured that out yet. So if it's a little quiet, um, that is why. Whoa, Twitch has so many emojis. <laughs> that was Amanda. Just have Amanda make noises in the background. She just did. She was just exclaiming about how many emojis that Twitch has. Oh, this one's good. Uh-oh. Get ready for emojis spamming the, the chat, guys. I'm going to have to give her, like... A I'm going to have to set her as a mod so she can get them all through. Oh, that's great. A fish head. Let's see. But if there's music, we miss out on Amanda laughing. Yeah. Always laughing. See, this is the great thing. Like, I don't have to do any work. I just sit here and draw. Ooh, that's good. And everybody... Oh, look at... Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Oh, nice. Okay, I understand now. I thought maybe I was—I thought it was a reference to something that I was missing, which is not outside my realm. I am—I am a an, an aging man that doesn't keep up with all of the uh, pop culture things. Let's see. Oh, is that a Dorito and it's then Dorito. a sloth? Oh these, my gosh! There's all these people's faces, and I don't know who they are. See, this is great. We're, an old we're all learning this together. This is a safe Wait. place for us to learn about new is this technology. A taco bag? Wait, what? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it. And many channels have their own emoji sets. You'll be able to make your own once you have subscribers. Oh no. Yeah, I, I think I have to like I, I have to do this for a while before I get my subscribe button. So you guys are in on the ground floor, so Tell your friends, and let's get as many subscribers or many followers as we can in here, and uh, you know, see if we can get our own emoji sets. Because I think I could make some pretty great ones. Oh my gosh, it's Taco Madness. Yeah, yeah. Because like you know, I can make stuff like this. Huh? Huh? That's pretty. Awesome. There's so much taco happening. Taco, let's talk about it. Oh yeah, I'm also like full of really, really bad dad jokes and puns. So 
Um, if that starts spewing out of me, I'm really, really sorry. But I'm not sorry at all in any way. So this is, is it because you're a dad or and you're a dad? I think and I'm a dad. I think I always did that. So I guess maybe I was I was destined to be a father because I had all the tools already in me. Like you have to just make terrible jokes. Let's see, the taco will come in handy for the taco making stream. Hey, there's it's like true. Super Meat Boy just it's popped in there. Taco Tuesday <laughs> prep. Yep. I'm getting ready. Meat Boy is an awesome design character. That game is so infuriatingly hard. I've never I've never played a game that was that difficult. It's like it's up there with like Flappy Bird. For ghosts and goblins. Oh my god, ghosts and goblins. What was what was your uh your quote about that? There's a second level? Yeah, I watched like I watched like a playthrough of it. I was like, oh my gosh, I've never even seen the second level. Because <laughs> I never got that far. And I never knew anyone who did. So what's great about Twitch is Twitch is a like a game streaming platform and Amanda's a super huge uh, vintage video game nerd and most people don't know that. Out me. So she should just have a a, a a stream of her playing video games. So will I be streaming every day? Oh my gosh. I don't think I'll be streaming every day. I'm going to start off with twice a week. Um, because it is a lot to set all this stuff up. So um, I'm going to start with twice a week, uh, Monday and maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday. I have to figure out the best day to do it. Um, and we'll see how it goes. And, uh, you know, if people are enjoying it, I'll, I'll keep doing it. I'm afraid I'm just going to run out of things to say and everybody's going to get bored with me. Uh, I'll be drawing something different, though. So, but you'll have to look at my face the whole time. Or you can just turn that camera off. Nobody wants to see that. It's so funny how many people don't know what I look like. Because I don't post photos of myself usually. And, like, we'll be in line for something at some event. And we'll be standing next to somebody who, who knows our work and is a fan of our work. And... Like, we'll just be talking to him for a while, and then they'll later figure out that it was us. <laughs> Let's see. Amanda, do you watch any of the games drone quick marathon? Done quick. Oh, games done quick. I've, Sorry. No, I've never seen any of those. Are they kind of like like really fast playthroughs? Let's see. Oh, we do want to see it. Well, thank you so much. Because I do, I do myself some really quick playthroughs. I have two games that I play on a yearly basis. Every year I play Castle, Super Castlevania 4 on the SNES, and every year I play Okami on the PS2. And at this point, I've played them so many times that I can get them done pretty quick. Although your last playthrough with Okami was not very quick. That wasn't quick, because I had to show your daughter the wonders of Okami. <laughs> yeah, that took a very long time. But she enjoyed it, so... <laughs> and that's the camera that gives us the wild Amanda spot. Every so often. That's true. She'll she'll wander through. My butt's been pretty firmly planted in the seat for a while. No, it, hey, the more I'm a working. The more uh, friendly you guys are to Amanda, the more likely that she may someday have her own Twitch stream. Hey, I'm thinking about it. She's definitely thinking about it. Oh, it's a speed run marathon that happens twice a year for charity. But I'm afraid that if you guys would just watch her stream, she's m way more entertaining than I am. That's awesome. I'll have to check that out. Some of those speed run people are amazing to me. It's like they've figured out exactly, like, to the pixel how to jump through obstacles and stuff like that. I saw a guy that... That guy that had that, that crazy setup with all the different consoles that I showed you the other oh, day. Yeah. He did a blindfolded um, Super Mar or Mario Kart jump on that level. I don't know what the level is. It's like a rainbow bridge or something. And like there's nothing oh, below it. Yeah. And he did a jump and he jumped from one like down into the void onto another track just by the sound. That's crazy. So he like he count he counted and it was by the sound effects and he landed on the other 
the other track. They I'm completely also terrible blind. at any incarnation of Mario Kart. So oh that's yeah, amazing. Get Mario Kart out of my house. Let's see. Right now, it's a disembodied voice of Amanda judging <laughs> you and laughing from the background. Yes. Yeah, that's that's not unlike my life. I will stream. I'm actually setting up for it. I'm going to do some practice runs on YouTube before I get on Twitch. I've already got my little, like, Twitch video overlay thing set up, so, you know, just, you know, buy some more cameras, because that's what this house needs, is more Yeah, cameras. more cameras. It's pretty funny, like, w eventually we'll just have, like, cameras all over this room, and we'll just switch to all ten different cameras, and then it'll just, and then it'll just be Big Brother. So, well, it's like Bill, like, so Bill Duran, who does, like, cost, like, armor making, like, prop making cosplay stuff on Twitch... He's got these, what are they, for rifles? Yeah, I think they're I They're think like they're these rifle special, mounts. like, arms for when you're hunting and you want to hold your rifle for a really long time so it doesn't, you know, your arms don't give out. And they, like, mount on the wall, and he's got all these rifle stands all over his studio that he mounts his cameras to. I think it's pretty brilliant. Yeah, I think, I think we need to have that set up. Because all this stuff is temporary, so we just, like, m set it up for the stream and then take it all down. Because, like, this is my desk. My computer's here. My work area is over here, um, but yeah, I just have to like move everything out of the way. Um, let's see, the art stream house. Hey, why not, man? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You, yeah, then everybody could see how boring it is to be an artist. Nah. I, I always loved like the um, when they tried to do like art, uh, like reality TV. Like oh, you, yeah, that would be you have 90 minutes to come up with. Although I think that would actually be kind of fun. Yeah, somebody was trying to like get me to sign up for one of those, one of those competition art shows, and I don't know. I thought about it for a minute, but the amount of time I would have to spend away was was not my thing. I think it was something like eight weeks or something, and you had to like be locked up in a hotel room and not talk to the outside world. So. Uh, how long does it take to set up each time? I don't know. It probably took like, um, once I get the software set up and get the cameras set up and the lights set up, maybe like 10, 10, 15 minutes. It'll take less and less every time you do it. Yeah, because I'm still new to the software too. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, I'll get better at it. So it looks like I've been on for an hour and 28 minutes, which is way longer than it normally takes to do a drawing, but I've been, I've been yak, yakking with you guys, so, um, this guy is, like, pretty much donezo. Let me put some whiskers on him. And we might call it a night, unless anybody has any more questions or comments. Let's see, I work on film sets, and you can vouch for how much of a pain setting up and taking down can be. Oh yeah, we were actually talking about that today, because Amanda was taking photos of, of a product, and just the amount of different photo setups, like lighting setups she had to, to set up was just, it's crazy just for little tiny products. I was so, so over it. So. And I do see. it all the time, and I was so over it. Yeah, let's see. Now we need a stumpy, plumpy unicorn figure. Oh my gosh, I I always wanted to do Sparkle Pony Magic as a yep. figure. Um, do you guys know who Sparkle Pony Magic is? Maybe you do. Here, like, let me shave the sticker if I can find it. I'm disappearing for a moment. Don't don't go away. Listen to the sound of Amanda's voice. She'll talk to you. Wait, what? Yeah, you're you're gonna talk to everybody. Oh, Hold here's on. a question. I'll ask you questions. What's your favorite type of sketchbook? Uh, moleskin. Just a classic moleskin. That's my favorite type of sketchbook. Uh, Sparkle Pony Magic. Where is, oh, here's Sparkle Pony Magic. Here we go. So Sparkle Pony Magic is one of my favorite characters. So, and then there's the, you know, the reg, there's Pony Suit. And then there's another pony. There's Goth Unicorn Pony. Goth Ponycorn. And then the unicorn suit. See? I'm all about ponies. Um, and then... What else we got here? You guys have seen all these. Pizza suit. Huh? Huh? Um, I'm gonna do a... 
I have to do a Pegasus. And there was one more that I was going to do. What was the other one I was going to do? I don't know. I keep asking for a Rainbow Pegasus. Yeah, I'm going to do a Rainbow Pegasus. So, let's see. I need some cute hippo characters. I've done some very close to, like, characters that look very close to hippos. They're pretty lumpy. Here's one. Um, does the plushie in your sketch have a name then? No, not yet. Alicorn. What's an alicorn? It's a unicorn with wings. Oh. Don't you watch Friendship is Magic? No. Um, now you need a taco suit. I've totally done a taco suit. You need to go back through the feed and do your research. Because I've done a taco suit. You know, I've done um, a hamburger suit. I did a, a taco suit, pizza suit. Um, I can tell you right now, I have all of them. Uh, did I? Oh, I don't have previews for all of them. Yeah, I've done, I did a bat suit, a panda suit. I've done tons of suits. Banana suit. What's the best selling sticker? Uh, Sparkle Pony Magic. I think over 400 stickers sold. Um, and then followed by. Oh, maybe Catstoom. Catstoom's a pretty good seller. Um, let's see. Let's see. So will you sometimes stream a sculpting session? Yeah, probably. Uh, I'll have to figure that one out. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely do a sculpting. That one will be way more boring um, because uh, sculpting is super slow. But um, yeah, I can definitely do that. It's definitely something I want to do. So... Oh, and if you guys have never seen the Sparkle Pony Magic pin, that's pretty amazing too. It has it has glitter in in the pin in the main, so you can get those at our store if you didn't already know. Bindlewood.com. That's nice, then. Yeah, you like that? Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll definitely try to do a sculpting uh, session. I have a lot of things. The problem with the sculpting sessions is that often when I'm working on something, it's something I can't show anybody yet. So um, I'll have to figure out a way to, to just sculpt something that's just for the stream. So, uh, but I will definitely figure that out. So I think this guy is done. So you guys will see this drawing um, uh, tomorrow morning on Instagram and uh, yeah that's it so I'm gonna call it at one hour and 33 minutes thank you so much everybody for stopping by and uh, and I will definitely be doing this pretty regularly um, and if you haven't signed up for the mailing list uh, for our shop go here right there, bindlewood.com, and go into the contact page and sign up for the mailing list because uh, within the next day or two, um, a newsletter will go out with all the information for the upcoming sale. I think I'm going to have like 45 drawings for sale, which is quite a lot. Usually I only have like 20, but I, uh, I've been hoarding them for a while. So uh, big drawing sale. Um, New smidgen minifigures. Uh, Amanda's got some pins going in the store. All the pins. Uh, all of the pins. Seven new pins. Seven new designs, and they're pretty amazing. Um, have you even shown them all yet? Mm -mm. Which one do you want to see? Yeah, which... Oh, geez. Your favorite one. Um, you guys are seeing, because you stuck around... Oh, no watercolors yet. Um, I'm still figuring those out. Some need to be ironed and stuff, because they're very... Um, they're very wrinkled. Yeah. You guys are seeing something that Amanda's not shown. I'll hold up yet. three of them. So, so here's, here's, here's one sorry, of I've got my pins. my tablet glove on, so it's kind of weird. But so little strawberry, strawberry bunny. Here is like a pastel bee. Yeah, that one's pretty. Beautiful. It's gold. It's pretty yeah. cool. And this one is actually my favorite. Yeah, albino sparkle wing bat. Very fun. So good. Yay. So, yes, uh, new purple smidgens in the store uh, and on Saturday, 
And um, we have a lot of those. So I think there's like 80, usually there's only like 60. So made a lot. So yeah, Amanda's new pins are beautiful. So you should definitely pick those Thanks. up. So um, I'm gonna go guys. And uh, again, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you next time, probably Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, look for notifications, and um, yeah, that's it. Thanks again. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> this is the Chris and Amanda show, apparently. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Good job,